Dave Grohl's comparison of the Foo Fighters splitting up to grandparents divorcing has resurfaced after the band's drummer Taylor Hawkins suddenly died. Following the announcement of the 50-year-old rock star's death, attention has been drawn back to past interviews. With Taylor opening up about a time when the band had almost called it quits as they struggled to find satisfaction with their music. The drummer had toured with Alanis Morissette prior to landing his role as part of the rock band The Foo Fighters when Dave found himself needing to replace William Goldsmith. Speaking to Louder Sound in 2019, Taylor admitted that although he had been the drummer for the band, he didn't feel like he was. He said, I was the drummer in the Foo Fighters, but I didn't feel like the drummer in the Foo Fighters. I mean, Dave played on half of, Hawkins' first Foo's album, There Is Nothing Left To Lose. Eventually Taylor would feel like part of the group, but this came after a period of hardship that left the group in a difficult position. The drummer nearly died from an overdose in 2001 after snorting a line of heroin. It's reported that he attributed the incident to partying too hard rather than addiction. While Taylor spent time recovering, the band's frontman Dave Grohl began playing the drums with a band Queens of the Stone Age. Later when the Foo Fighters reconvened, they struggled to achieve the sound they were looking for. Taylor said, We made this record that took five months and cost a million dollars, and it just didn't have it. Dave was in love with Queens of the Stone Age, we couldn't figure out how to be a band. It really did seem like we were going to bust up. During this period of time Taylor decided to move on from the Foo Fighters, saying that he would sell his house, try to get his old job back, deliver pizza or sell weed. Although it seemed like the end, they decided to try one more time. They raided the entire album in the space of a week, creating one by one which some have called the band's worst record ever. Although Taylor himself said that the album was flawed, weird-sounding, and, effied up, he also credited it for bringing the band back together and for finally making him feel like a solid part of the group. Since then the band had remained solid, with them not coming close to a split since. Taylor said that Dave would insist that they were now too old to part ways. He said, Dave always says we're too old to split. It'd be like your fucking grandparents getting a divorce. What? Grandad's having an affair? <laughs>